Hello everybody, Jordan here. The PH is silent, or am I here? I might not be Jordan at all. I could be a changeling impersonating him. Perhaps all this time you thought it was Jordan, but it was really me, Gordvan, with a silent VX in the middle. <laughs> Changelings are a race found in the Eberron campaign setting. They are humanoids that have the unique ability to change their facial features and skin tone to match that of other humanoids. They can change their voice too, and small details such as their hair length and physical height and weight, but not excessively. They are unable to change their body type from medium to small or large. In other words, you must stay a medium-sized creature. Changelings live across Eberron and mostly in secret. Because of their shape-changing abilities, they are not trusted by the general public, so many hide, taking an appearance and living in Eberron societies in disguise, never revealing their true self. It can be a sad life for a changeling. Other races have a clear answer to the question of who am I? Dwarves are clever with stone with a rich family history. Elves are graceful, quick with magic. Half-orcs are strong and close with nature, but changelings are fluid and their mutability means they don't have a clear place in the world. There are a few changeling communities scattered about Eberron, mostly nomadic, but in these social groups, changelings are allowed to be themselves. These groups arose after the last war when Warforged were recognized as free and living beings. The Warforged set up small communities to establish a common culture, which is what the changelings have talked about doing for decades. Most changelings, however, live among other communities with other races. In their true form, changelings are pale with colorless eyes and silver white hair. It is rare to see a changeling in this form unless they are a reality seeker. These changelings are proud of their true form and stay that way most of the time. Changelings have a fluid relationship with gender. It is something to wear like a piece of clothing and easily taken off. With their shape change abilities, they can be of either sex or both at once. And changelings can breed with other races. When two changeling parents have a child, it will be a changeling. But if a changeling and a humanoid mate, there is a 50% chance that the child will be of either race. Changelings that take a female form and become pregnant will lose their ability to change sex until after the child is born. Almost all changelings enjoy a life of comfort, but honestly, who doesn't? They work just as hard as they need to, ensuring them fine food, drink, accommodation, and equipment. They enjoy the finer things in life and often become collectors. Not necessarily hoarding, but they might have a nice house in the city of Sharn, full of rare paintings and sculptures, conversation pieces for the wealthy to chat over. Religion to a changeling is a personal and individualistic matter. They might follow the silver flame, the sovereign host, or another faith, or none at all. But most changelings at least honor the Traveler, one of the Dark Six. The Traveler is a god of chaos and change, of evolution, and importantly to changelings, transformation. What little changeling lore we know involves the Traveler. It is believed that long ago the Traveler decided to create a new race. He took doppelgangers and channeled his will and desires through them, changing them. These doppelgangers bred with humanoids and their offspring became the first changelings. Keith Baker, the creator of Eberron, has updated and expanded his thoughts on changelings in his world. Wizards of the Coast wrote a bunch of 3.5 books that Keith wasn't 100% a part of. Because of this, we have something called Canon with a K, the Keith Baker Canon to Eberron. Links below in the description in the reference section, but on his blog, he writes that the relationship between changelings and doppelgangers should be in the hands of the Game Master. Much of Eberron is placed in the Game Master's hands and changelings should be no different. So you can take that short story about the Traveler and use it, or perhaps that's the myth. Maybe doppelgangers are actually evil changelings that have lost their way or changelings and doppelgangers evolve separately from a missing link. To one side of Corvair, doppelgangers could be changeling sociopaths, while in another nation, doppelgangers aren't the origin of changelings, but rather a cursed offshoot. Deceptive shape-changing abilities have spread rumors through changeling circles that certain royalty or political figures were actually changelings in disguise. Was King Galifar, who united the five nations of Corvair, a changeling in disguise? This has been refuted by sages, but it is a strong-held belief in changeling culture. If you're deciding to play a changeling, think about your character's philosophy in their day-to-day -day life. Because of their mutable forms, many changelings have differing opinions on how the race should interact with the world. Passers are changelings that wish to fit in with regular society. They want to live a quiet life and keep a constant form, only shape-changing when needed, usually then in secret. Some changelings mock these passers for not embracing their true selves. 
Becomers are changelings that embrace their shape-changing powers but still hide. They might have multiple lives and identities in various places of Corvair. When approaching the city of Sharn, they take on their Sharn persona. When traveling to Arcanix, another face, another personality. A becomer embraces the dual life and will successfully live as several different people throughout their lifetime. Finally, there are Seekers, named so because they are reality seekers. These changelings believe in a greater truth to their nature and being. They want to discover this truth, and walking this path means they suppress their shape-changing abilities, staying in their true form. They want the world to see them for who they really are. By staying true to themselves, they hope to unearth the greater truth. What that is and how it will manifest is unknown, but it will never reach you by hiding as another. Changelings are said to be the backbone of the criminal underworld in larger cities. Their powers allow them to become great thieves and assassins. Many take respectable jobs, such as entertainers or government agents, but the long-held beliefs about changelings have led many to distrust them. Your changeling could be a seeker paladin who follows the traveler, never using their shape-changing powers unless for the glory of the traveler. Thanks for watching everyone, and thank you patrons for supporting the channel. I'll see you next time with another video on D&D lore.